Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here for this uh, ribbon-cutting ceremony of the new solar system. My name is John Keller. I'm the director here at Fisk Planetarium. And we're really, really thrilled to celebrate this new model that we're going to hopefully share with you over the course of today's event. The original scale model solar system was dedicated in 1987, stretching from Fisk Planetarium to Colorado Avenue. And it's a pleasant third of a mile walk across campus. Students of all ages are able to observe and learn about our fascinating solar system at a scale of one to 10 billion. This revamped model is the world's first installation of a Voyage Mark II model which has become the vanguard for many more scale model installations across the globe. Our commissioning of this first model has already prompted 11 other institutions to follow suit. The solar system model imbues all of us with a sense of awe, wonder, and discovery, reminding us of our place in the cosmos and our responsibilities as caretakers of this planet. Beyond the static textbook pages, not only students from elementary to grad school, but members of the general public can come on our campus, they can learn some astronomy, they can learn about our own planet and its, and its relative nature, not only in our solar system, but in our universe. I'm also excited to announce an additional element to the solar system model experience that suits its 21st century upgrade. Dr. Terry Reeve, Chair of the Critical Media Practices Department in the College of Media Communication and Information, and her partners have developed a geospatial cell phone app in conjunction with a model. The app called Wanderers allows users to hear the planets orbiting the sun at different speeds and ranges. This innovative tool creates a more immersive experience for all, in particular about allowing individuals with visual impairments to access the model. And so hopefully we'll get what I think Jody and Jeff and I once talked about of a hundred of these or more around the country and the world because we want everybody to get a chance to see these things because there's nothing like looking at that little tiny earth in that glass disc and walking the distance and realizing that is the place we all share. I think if everybody could see that and absorb the lesson, we'd all treat each other a little bit better.